So today we're doing a worksheet on writing directions. Um, it says introducing directions and read this example of directions. So we're going to read it together. Frozen treats. You can make your own frozen juice pops. All you need are small paper cups, juice, foil, and crap sticks. First, pour the juice into each small cup Next, cover the top of each cup with foil. Then, push a craft stick through the center of the foil. Put the cups into the freezer for 8 hours. Frozen treats are cool on a hot summer day. I think you guys know what I'm going to say next. We're going to go and find the topic sentence. So it's about frozen treats, but we need a sentence to tell what the paragraph is about. So, you can make your own frozen juice pops. This tells us what we're going to talk about in this paragraph today. Okay, then you're going to start adding your details. What do you need first if you need to make something? Your materials. All you need small paper cups, juice, foil, and crap sticks. So make sure you list everything that you need in your materials. And in the list, you have to put commas in between each item to make sure we know that they are separated. Okay, and then we're going to do our first detail direction. First, pour the juice into each small cup. Okay, first step done. Next, cover the top of each cup with foil. Now just make sure you notice that it doesn't just say cover the top. Okay, cover the top of what? Cover the top of each cup. Cover it with what? With foil. So once you write a sentence, always ask yourself some questions of what you can add. Okay. Then, push a craft stick through the center of the foil. If I had just said, next, put a craft stick in it, it would be very confusing because nobody would know where to put it. So I'm glad that they wrote center of the foil. Put the cups into the freezer for 8 hours. Don't just write, put the cups into the freezer. Write how long they should keep it in there. So we can make sure that the directions really work. If you just say put it in the freezer and they put it in there for one minute, it's not going to work. Okay, we're gonna use red for red light means stop. That means this is the last sentence, the concluding sentence. Frozen treats are cool on a hot summer day. We are just talking about frozen treats again, bringing it back from the beginning, okay, frozen treats, and we ended by giving them a good thought that they can think about after they're done reading it. So now that they have this, and if it's a hot day, then you're reminding them this would be very good on a hot day. Let's look at the next page. Oh wait, let me... I'm going to circle some things just to make sure you remember, okay? So you have your topic sentence. Make sure you write your materials with the commas. And then make sure you do your transition words. What's the first step? What's the next step? Then. Okay, you have to have your transition words. First, next, then, finally. Okay, next page. So here you have to match what materials go with what project. I think you are pretty good at this, but I'll just do one for you first. And you're going to read the directions, write the number of each topic next to the materials that go with that topic. Number one, how to make a kite. Let's see, with a kite, we will probably need wooden rods, paper, and string. So I know this one's number one. So, ooh, that's an ugly one. That's my one. <laughs> Make sure you guys are not drawing lines. Don't say, oh, I don't know what to put here. If you read the directions, you will know. 
okay? And then right here, after you match them up, you can choose three of them to write about. So the example, they pick the kite. We need a topic sentence first before you go into materials and steps. So their topic sentence was, it is easy to make a kite. We can also say it in other ways like, would you like to learn how to make a kite? Okay, so you can ask them a question or you can tell them about what we will be doing, which is make a kite. And then you write down your, uh, the materials that you need using those commas right here. Okay, so if we did, let's see, how to clean your room, with that we would probably need broom, dustpan, dust cloth. Those are all cleaning things. Okay, so what can we write for a topic sentence for how to clean your room? We can say, do you want to know how to make your room clean and nice? All you need are a broom, a dustpan, and a dust cloth. Okay, or I can teach you today how to clean your room. Or, Cleaning your room is easy. All you need are these things. Okay? Next page. Always read the directions first. The four steps below tell how to make an animal mask, but they are not very clear. Rewrite each step and make it clearer by answering the question. The example is cut out a shape from a piece of cardboard. Now they tell you the action cut out, but did they tell you what shape? Nope. So what if they cut a triangle? Would that be the right shape? No. So make sure you are specific so people can follow along. What kind of shape should they cut? Cut out a circle from a piece of cardboard. Okay, so I'm glad that they added the shape and they also said the material. Ooh, that's an ugly circle. You guys have pencils and hands that are better than my computer and mouse, so make sure you do it nicer than me. Let's do one as an example right here. Draw the face. Draw what on the face? What parts of the face? Well, looking at this picture, hmm, what can we write? Draw the face by adding a nose, mouth, and whiskers. Okay, so if you are more specific about it, people will be clear on what to do. Make this short sentence into a longer sentence by adding details. Cut out two holes, but what are they for? Also, we can ask where should we cut out the holes? We can also say how big should we cut out the holes? So those questions that I'm sure your teachers have taught you before, who, when, how, where, why, okay? Try to pick some of those. We got the what, how about the where, and the how. And if we want to mention, if you don't know how to use scissors, ask your parents to help you. Just give them more information, okay? Next page. Number the sentences to show the best order. Here you just have to write your numbers. I think all you have to do is read it very carefully and make sure you remember what is the first thing that we need. We need a topic sentence. Okay, what is the second thing that we need? We need materials. And then we start doing the steps. The steps will have words like these. First, next, then. So try to put those in order, okay? Good luck on this. I'm not going to help you with it. I hope you can try it on your own and read everything before you start writing your numbers. 
After you write down your numbers, all you have to do is copy it with neat, neat, neat handwriting onto here. Then you're done. Okay, so this is this week's English activity. I hope you try it out. And、um, on Friday, I will see you for a live Zoom session. Okay, that's it for today, and I will see you later. Miss you guys. Love you guys. Bye.